So how do I start my day? With love, after lockup, or growing up hip hop? We TV is thriving on Thursday nights. I never thought I'd live to see the day. You know what, we gonna go on and get to um, Married at First Sight. Let's go on and start the day easy. Okay, you know, we're gonna go to WandaVision. I need something new. Okay, so WandaVision, we start out in the 1950s and we don't know what's going on. We find out that this place in New Jersey has this weird force field around it. We really didn't know what was going on for the first three episodes. In the third episode, her and Vision have a baby, well, two babies. But that's when we start to realize something in the town is off. But it's very Dick Van Dykish. Okay, so we're gonna start on episode five. So we open in a full house tea with Wanda and Vision and the two babies. We move from a 1950s sitcom to a late 80s, early 90s sitcom. Oh, this red hair and this vest, she's giving me Mary Jo Shively from Designing Women. She trying to make them babies go to sleep with magic, but it ain't working, cause they yours. So now Agnes dropped by, and of course she don't know that Vision's Vision. So Wanda had to transform him right quick. And she gonna try to help them with their noisy babies. Okay, so we're having a normal conversation, and then Vision says, you know, maybe Agnes, you shouldn't hold the babies. When did you wash your hands? Because we know y'all don't be washing your legs. And then Agnes is like, uh, what, what line? Should, should we take it from the top? Wanda, what do I do? And Vision's like, what, what was that about? Wanda's like, oh, she's just being neighborly and we need some rest. Oh my goodness, now the twins have magically become toddlers. They look a little older than toddlers. They look like foal. I mean, you never really got to bond with them as babies. Now they four, they're gonna be 14 in a minute. Them kids gonna be in high school and off to college. You won't know them. They won't know themselves. They'll only have, what, like two weeks worth of memory? Girl, this show is only 38 minutes and they're giving us a theme song. The pictures of baby vision. <laughs> oh, that was funny. That was worth it. Girl, they really put something in this theme song. They need their butt beat for this. I hate that I'm going to end up listening to this theme song later. It's going to be like that I'm on a roll song from Miley on that Black Mirror show. So after the theme song, we cut to Monica, and they asking her what she remember in the hospital because, you know, she just got kicked out of WandaVision. Bringing up somebody's dead brother will do that. And she says she felt Wanda's grief in WandaVision. So they can't get a read on Monica's blood or uniform, but she's like, I ain't got time to hang around here. I'm heading to the briefing. So at the briefing, they said, Monica gone review what's going on in in Westview, since we found out it's all under Wanda's control, and we thought she was a victim. So one of the guys at the meeting is like, now Monica, you describe how horrible it was being under Wanda's mental control. And she said, yeah, but she ain't trying to run the whole world. I don't think this is political, nor does she have an agenda. I think the heifer just hurt. But you still can't, you know, take over people's minds like that. That ain't, mm -mm. that ain't it. Well, now we got some footage of Scarlet Witch going to get the Vision's corpse. 2021's been quite a year from step-grandhusband to corpse couplings. So Vision didn't want to be revived, but she apparently revived him. Meanwhile, back in WandaVision, her kids done found a puppy. So now Agatha pop over with the doghouse. <laughs> <laughs> So Wanda used a little magic while Agnes has her back turned. And Vision's like, now come on, we keeping this secret. She said she didn't even know the kids went from babies to five-year-olds. So she I. Wanda says, I'm sick of hiding my powers, and if you want to be purple, have at it and get your grimace on. So Vision says, I don't think they should have the dog. Let's wait till they ten. They gonna be ten by the next episode. Uh, them twins looked at each other and morphed to 10. They said, Wonder Twin Powers, activate. We're going to keep that puppy now. And that happened right in front of Agnes, who was like, oh, let's just hope the dog stays the same size. Back at the outside of Westview, we've got Monica designing a fallout shelter so that she can re-enter Westview. 
Oh, 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 child. So Monica's letting them know that everything that goes on in Westview is real because they wanted to know where the babies came from. And somebody brought up Captain Marvel almost taking out Thanos and Monica changed the subject. She said, we're not talking about her. So Monica goes back to get her clothes that she had on when she got kicked out. And so she finds out the clothes aren't just real, they're bulletproof. At Vision's office, we've got some early computers and ooh, those modem noises. Oh goodness, but apparently everybody at Vision's job gets a secret email from S.W.O.R.D. and then they all start reading it in unison. So Vision gets freaked out and he uses his powers to turn the computer off and then he starts to read his coworker's mind. If you could read my mind, you'd realize I want pizza and wings, but the place I got wings from the last time that I thought was really good was a disappointment, so now I gotta go through my receipts to see where the good place was, and I'ma probably pick up some pizza since it's Friday. It's 10, 11 a.m. here on the sunny West Coast. Oh, he didn't set his coworker fr from Wanda's spell in the hex. Oh my goodness, he was like, make her stop, make her stop, she's in my head. So Vision gotta take him back to his free state cause can't nobody hear all that damn yelling. Vision realized something up. Back at home, the kids wanna know where dad is and mom's like, it's Monday, he's at work. They're like, it was Saturday this morning. And then she says, well, he needed a distraction. They like from us? Is he bored with us already? We've gone from zero to 10 in two minutes. We're keeping it interesting. So she starts to fess up that her and Vision are on different pages, but then something's at the door that scurs Sparky. It's a drone piloted by Monica on the outside. So Monica says, look, I just want to chat over the speaker. Oh goodness, the drone's apparently armed and Monica didn't know. And the boss is saying, take the shot. So we see Wanda's eyes go red and then the siren's going off. We don't know what didn't happen. So everybody runs to the perimeter and they armed and here comes, I think it's Vision. Nope, it's the Red Witch and she got their little drone. Then the fool that said fire, oh, the missile was just a precaution. A missile is never a precaution. Maybe in Battleship, but that's about it. I used to like Battleship. Do they have that as an app? So Wanda says, look, Y'all stay out my house, I'ma stay out yours. And they're like, but you kidnapped a town. So Monica asks Red Witch what she wants. She's like, I don't want nothing. I want you to leave me alone. So she go back into WandaVision and joins her children looking for their dog that ran off when the drone appeared. Oh Lord, so now the dog dead. They would only had it 10 minutes. And of course got into Agatha's yard and ate something poisonous. So they like, uh-uh, Heffa, you better bring our dog back. And Agnes is like, well, you can. Now you want to teach them how to deal with grief when you won't do it yourself. So then Vision comes up and is like, who's dead? Oh, the dog. So Vision tells her, the jig is up. I know what's going on. So they get to fighting about leaving Westfield and who's controlling what. And he don't remember nothing. Vision said, why ain't there no kids here? We got a whole bunch of empty playgrounds. So he tell her, look, controlling everybody in town is wrong. And now the doorbell rings and he's like, mm-hmm, you trying to change the subject. So we don't see who's at the door, but everybody at Mission Control is scrambling. Is this her dead brother? No, this ain't her dead brother. It's Quicksilver, Evan Peters. Okay, she apparently recast Pedro. I don't know who this is, but apparently it's the long lost brother. Evan Peters finally looks old. All right, now we got these Windows Media Player ass credits that go on and on and on. I don't understand it. Seven minutes? Okay, so now it's the Halloween episode. Oh, that was the worst theme song I've ever heard in my life. Off key, on the record. <laughs> oh my God, her son did not say, are you old Red Riding Hood? <laughs> Kids will read you. They will read you for filth. So Vision wants to go do the neighborhood watch, but Wanda wants him to stay home. So the brother says, I'll hang with the kids. Even though it is their first Halloween, I think the peppy should be present. But when they age themselves up like that, does it really matter? We didn't already miss your first, second, third, and ninth Halloween. So the 10th ain't an issue to me. You want to age up to get a dog? Then you old enough for me to go to this neighborhood watch. Meanwhile, at Mission Control, we're going to analyze that drone. 
all covered with their red mystical powers. So now the chief and Monica getting into it because she's like, you idiot, you don't know what's gonna happen to those people if you kill Wanda. And he's like, well, that's all I can think to do. So the chief says, you know what? You always siding with the mutants so you can go. So and tell her to take the scientist heifer and her friend with her. So they go outside and we think they just gonna get kicked off site. But child, they jump the guards except for the scientist heifer. She was like, why didn't somebody tell me that's what we were pulling? Cause you couldn't have helped heifer. You a little shady, but you ain't busting a grape. Back with Wanda, she trying to figure out why a different actor is playing her brother. Oh Lord. Wanda brother going around stealing the candy. Why you gonna mess up the jack-o'-lanterns though? People work hard on that. I can't stand people that ruin Halloween. But Wanda finds out that Vision isn't on neighborhood watch. I knew his ass was sneaking out. So Vision walk around town seeing people acting a little odd. But there's a whole bunch of kids trick-or-treating and you literally just said, why are there no kids in WandaVision? But there are kids everywhere tonight. Did he just say who queefed in your borch? Oh my God, not a queef. I had to rewind that photo. Okay, so we find one of the kids has super speed. Back at the base, we've got the trio sneaking round. So they hack into the system and found out that they can look into the boundary. But the information was kept from them. So the other guy was secretly tracking Vision and has an accurate head count of who's in town as Vision heads to the outskirts. And the closer you get to the edge of town, don't nobody move, it's very statue. And then he finds Agnes in a car on her statue. So she said, oh, I, uh, I got lost on my way to, town, to the town square. And then she just sit there. So Vision says, let me go on and peep into your mind. And she's like, oh, Vision, are you here to help? Get your girl, Wanda. <laughs> she said, wait, am I dead? Cause you dead, dead. So he got to put Ag back in the hexagon cause you know, she getting to giggling and shouting too much. So now Vision goes to the true border of the town. So Monica getting ready to go back into the hexagon. But the scientists have said, girl, you changing on a molecular level, hopping in and out that hex. So the scientists have a gun continue to hack, but Monica like, look, I gotta help Wanda. Back with Wanda, the brother bringing up, where'd all these kids come from? So he's like, look, I ain't here to judge you. I'm your brother. How did you pull this stunt off? And she said, I don't know, I was grieving. I just felt a lot of pain. And then I popped up here. Meanwhile, Vision's approaching the border. So now we got Vision walking through the perimeter. Child Vision straining to get out. So now Vision starts literally coming apart trying to get out of Wanda's world. But his son senses the danger. So the scientist heifer runs out screaming help them and gets her butt arrested. Her son says, I don't know where he is, but he sees soldiers. So Wanda makes the world bigger so that way Vision can stay in it. She moves the wall. So the scientist heifer gets caught up in Wanda's expanding world while everybody else is able to flee. Monica and her friend were able to escape the expanding WandaVision, but the soldiers end up getting turned into a circus. So we end with the captain who fired on Wanda in his car asking if anybody can read him, but of course nobody can. And that was the episode. Now we got these long ass credits. So we open with Wanda giving us something of a confessional. And apparently the magic in the world she's made is going haywire. So she's like, let me take a day to myself before I go truly crazy. Wanda try to make herself some cereal, but the milk keeps changing. But we still got that guy outside who's launching an attack against Wanda today. Meanwhile, with the people trapped inside, the scientist Heffa has turned into an escape artist since they're all a circus. So Wanda's kids ask her about their uncle talk about the fact they daddy already dead. And she like, look, I ain't got the answers, but don't believe him. Believe me. However, I don't have any answers for you to believe because I'm lost myself. So then Agnes pop over. Wanda just magically opened the door. She like, I ain't in the mood and you already know. So Agnes takes the kids and stuff still keeps changing around Wanda while she tries to have some peace. So now we got Monica and her friend and they find out that the guy was trying to reincarnate Vision before Wanda did. And that's why they are looking for him. So she go meet some army people that are loyal to her and they got her her vehicle to get in WandaVision. 
But Vision keeps trying to talk to the scientist Hefa because he remembers she was trying to help him before the expansion. Of course, she in the hex, so she don't remember nothing, so Vision got to tap that mind. So they steal a funnel cake truck and head off home so Vision can get some answers. Meanwhile, Wanda's house is still going haywire. But outside, we've got Monica heading in with her space mobile. But of course, she try to drive through and the thing get rewritten, and she gonna get rewritten too. I guess this is the birth of the other Captain Marvel. So Monica says, bump this machine, I'ma just go through myself. Yup, and you see the birth of her powers, cause this time she's able to get through without being rewritten. She come through in her space suit. Back in the waffle truck, we got the scientists have explaining to Vision what happened since pre-Thanos snap. So as she fills him in, Monica makes to Wanda's house and tells her, look, they trying to bring Vision back. And, but of course, Wanda don't want to hear that. And she uses her powers to get her out. She said, look, that captain going to make you the villain. He will burn this place to the ground to get your man. So she tell her, look, I have been through some grief too. But you got to accept the facts. You got to take this place down. Agatha come over and get Wanda before the confrontation goes any further, sadly, because I want to see these heifers go at it. Now inside Agatha's house, she makes Wanda some tea. But Wanda sees a large cicada on the window. Then she realizes, oh yeah, I have twins. Where are they? Agatha says, I think they're playing in the basement. And like a white woman, she trot her butt on down there. So we go from a normal basement to something giving a crypt tea. So we see some book with a magical energy to it. And now Agnes pops in with a wonder, wonder, wonder. Oh, this half a witch too. So we find out Agatha's been the one messing everything up. Agatha Harkness. <laughs> Why does that last name sound familiar? Maybe I'm thinking of the Preakness, but that's horse racing. So she's the one who brought Evan Peters as the brother rather than the original actor. And that's where the shit in. Okay, let's get to the last two. So the tape fucked up, but we on the eighth episode and Wanda is trapped while Agatha's trying to get her secrets of witchcraft. Cause she's like, wow, how are you running all this magic on autopilot? So Wanda's like, look, I don't know how I'm doing this. And Agatha said, well, I'm gonna jar your memory with the pain you're trying to hide from. So Agatha tell the heifer, look, you better go on in there before I hurt them kids. So we going back to Wanda's first apartment and we see her love for American sitcoms. This is back before mama got killed. So they watching the Dick Van Dyke show to practice their English while war begins outside. So now she be living that bombing. Agatha bring her back and show her, you stop that other bomb from going off with a probability hex. So now we delving more into Wanda's past to find out how she amplified her power. Now we taking it back to her Hydra days. So back then, they experimented with her in the Tesseract. Or is that the Soul Stone? There's so much glowing crap, you can't tell one from the other. So she survives. The stone goes from blue to gold, and she sees some heifa wafting towards her and then passes out. However, the cameras didn't catch what happened. Now we head into the next memory. So this is when she and Vision first moved in together. She's still grieving over her brother. So now Agatha like, look, so everybody dead, how'd you do it when Vision wasn't there to pull you back from the darkness? Now we go back to when she stole his body. But she trying to tell security to let her in, somebody calls and says, oh, send her on back. So she go back there and ends up meeting with the current captain that's outside of Westfield today. Westfield, Westbrook, West something. You know what I'm talking about. So he like, let me show you something. And child, they working on vision like a chop shop car. Pieces of them all over the place. Child, they got all his wires out and she getting upset. He said, look, we got to dismantle him because he a giant weapon. And uh, I don't know if you want to bury him. I think you want to bring him back. So did she pull vision from where he was or did she make a whole new one? So now back in present time, we outside with Agatha holding her children hostage, saying, I know what you are. Well, what? You are the Scarlet Witch who can create chaos magic. Okay, outside the bubble, the team is getting ready to launch. Oh, Lord, so they got the other vision outside, and they're going to use the Scarlet Witch's magic from that drone to power him up. Twelve! 
I'm glad they answered the question I just asked. I don't know what type of vision this is because he ain't purple and I don't see no soul stone. Is this a knockoff? All right, and the series finale. So we back outside. Agatha lets the boys go because she's baiting Scarlet Witch into using her power because, you know, she's an absorbing heifer. So she'll be able to mock him. So she says, you know what, heifer? I want your powers. And I'll let you stay here. Wanda hit her with the car real quick. She like, girl, you think I'm new to this? Lord, <laughs> she under the car with the boots like the Wicked Witch of the West. Actually, East. Oh, Lord, now the new vision pop up. But where's Agatha? Child, she walk up to him. She's like, vision? He says, Wanda, grab her head and try to crack her skull like a Tyler Perry love interest. So the real vision pop in and save her, but just in time. So she apologized to Vision. He's like, it's okay. I, I don't know what we're going to do now, but I, I get it, girl. You're grieving. So we got Vision versus Vision and Witch versus Witch. Meanwhile, the brother got Monica trapped. For what? Monica's friend outside got arrested, but he's able to call somebody for help to stop Hayward's plan. So now we got Agatha giving the Scarlet Witch a little bit of her history from the Book of the Dam. That was the book in her crypt. Oh, it's apparently the Scarlet Witch's destiny to destroy the world. Meanwhile, she's like, look, I'm not a witch, I'm an Olsen. So to prove she eagle, Agatha takes the incantation off everybody, and they're like, we want to go home, Heffa. I want to see my kids, even though they're badass. I want to see them. Meanwhile, Monica's able to take the hex off the brother who ain't the brother. Now the kids sense danger, and they're going to run to try to help their parents. Everybody complaining to Wanda, and she's like, I kept y'all safe. They're like, mm-mm, mm-mm, it's been real shitty, boo. Everybody's like, we feel your grief, and we sick of it. Child, she gets so overwhelmed with the complaints, she end up using her magic to choke everybody. It's funny how rough Agatha looks now as the witch. She was so clean-faced with these cute outfits, and now she's given the witch from um, Silent Hill, if anybody ever saw it. So she opens the walls of the city and lets everybody go, and they run screaming. I mean, if that's where your house is, like, what about your mortgage? But Hayward's team outside is going to use that as an opportunity to go in. We still got the two visions firing lasers at each other in the sky. Oh, Lord. So as she breaks the world up, she going to have to let go of vision in them kids. I'm glad I watched this shit in one day. I didn't need to watch this for no eight weeks to lead up to this. So she closed the world back up because she ain't about to lose her family. So Agatha attack her after she do that. And of course, she throw up a force field that Agatha steals. So we got Agatha on one side, Vision on the other. And now Hayward and his people showing up. They giving us the Incredibles. They like, okay, kids, get ready to fight. So Vision tells the new Vision, look, I'm not really Vision. If that's what you program to destroy, I'm actually a Fig Newton of Wanda's Imaginene. Just my imagination once again. Shimmy it away with me. Ooh, it's just my imagination running away with me. <laughs> Another boring Friday. Well, they starting to open stuff up now. I can't wait to go out. I ain't never going to be in again. So now Agatha's trying to kill the military people, but Scarlet's going to save them. So she tell the kids to take care of the military so she can fight Agatha. So right as Hayden tries to shoot the kids, Monica sees them. And now we get in her power. She got a little bit of Vision and a little bit of Scarlet Witch. Bullet's just going through. Okay, back with Vision and Vision. They keep talking about the ship of Theses, but it sounds like Theses. I like, we ain't watching Basketball Wives. Shitty Onostral ain't got nothing to do with you. So Vision helps the other Vision tapped into his memory since, you know, they're the same being. So then he realizes he Vision and fly off. What you gonna do, destroy yourself? Go to the sun? I was sick of you. Oh, oh. But now we got the Scarlet Witch sneaking up on Agatha for a little mind control. And she take her back to when she got her powers. Oh, and she resurrecting the witches she killed to get her butt. But now the heifer, she resurrected her like, you're the Scarlet Witch. <laughs> Agatha's like, girl, I told you they ain't messing with you. So now Agatha stepped down off the pyre and they put Scarlet Witch up there. So Agatha tried to get her to give her her powers, but Scarlet Witch blasts them out of the memory and starts fighting with her again. So now Agatha drawing her power in, but I have a feeling it's going to overload her. 
Oh, so right when it looks like Agatha done absorbed her powers, we start to see the runes on the walls of the city. While Wanda was throwing all that magic, she was putting up some runes, so now Agatha can't use her powers. She absorbed Agatha power. She becomes the Scarlet Witch full on, and so we can see what she saw in one of them Infinity Stones was the future of herself. So she turns Agatha back into the nosy neighbor. Vision her and the kids head home. Is that it? So as they put the kids to bed, we slowly see that the perimeter is shrinking and things are going back to normal. Oh, this long goodbye between her and Vision. Okay, if it's over, I guess it's over. So he disintegrates as the world goes back to normal. And like her favorite episode as a kid of Dick Van Dyke, it all was a bad dream. But wait, if you disintegrated your world, then wouldn't Agnes go back to normal and be a problem? Now she walking through town, everybody mead mugging her. So as she walking out, she see Monica and she's like, hey girl, I'm sorry. And Monica's like, well, if I had powers like that, I'd probably bring my mama back too. And so we ended with the heifer flying off from Westview. That was it. It was cute. It was cute. I feel like it could have been a Scarlet Witch movie. They said, you know what? We just going to add in a little extra. Because the first three, four episodes wasn't really nothing. This could have been a movie. A cute little two, because they love to give you a two and a half hour movie. This could have been a cute movie, but I'm not mad at it. I'll watch what they do next. So for our Easter egg after the credits, Monica see her friend and he's running things. Okay, and so this woman walk up to Monica and say they're waiting for you in the theater. They get to the theater. She turned into an alien and say, I'm an old friend of your mama's. And somebody wants to meet you in the sky. All right, well, I'm looking forward to it. And now let's get to coming to America.